Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve an error message that says the directory name is invalid when you're inserting a DVD or external media source. So this should hopefully be a fairly straightforward tutorial, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So first thing I'd actually recommend doing would be to open up the star menu. Type in device manager. Best result should come back with device manager. Go ahead and left click on that to open it up. Select the view tab and then select show hidden devices. If you see a portable device section, you want to go double click on it. And then again, portable device section, and you would right click and then uninstall device. Again, you would do that if there was a portable device section, which is why you are more than likely on this video. So again, portable device, and then you would right click on whatever entry was underneath of that. If there were multiple, you'd right click on them and delete. And then when you restart your computer, plug everything back in if it's not already plugged in, and it should automatically begin updating the driver software at that point. Another thing you can try here, if you close out of here, and you open up the start menu and type in CMD, best result should say command prompt. You want to right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. Now into this elevated command line window, you're going to type in chk dsk space forward slash f space forward slash r. Hit enter on your keyboard to run this command. It's going to say that check this cannot run because the volume is in use by another process. Would you like to schedule this volume to be checked the next time your system restarts? Tap the Y key on your keyboard, hit enter. Now you should close out of any open programs and applications, restart your computer, and then let the scan proceed. It will give you an option to opt out of it as it is starting up. Do not do that. Do not press any key to abort. You just want to go let it continue, and if it finds anything, it'll let you know. But hopefully at that point, once your computer restarts, the scan probably will take anywhere from 20 minutes to an hour or so. So pretty straightforward process, guys. Do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.